with Beauty News. Good afternoon and welcome to Keys TV News, live on keysnews.net. I'm Tom Rowland. And I'm Tiffany Sweeney. Manchester and Salford are to be the worst hit areas in the country by the government's bedroom tax. 50,000 people across the region, including the sick, disabled and poor, will now pay an extra £1,000 a year on rent, according to figures released by the Department for Work and Pensions. Changes to housing benefits will come into effect on the 1st of April this year. A 10-year-old boy has been reported missing in Manchester. Shakan Farkson was last seen on Wednesday on Maldorf Road in Withington. He is black, 4 foot 10 inches tall with black dreadlocks. He was last seen wearing a blue anorak, blue tracksuit bottoms and white trainers. And anyone with information is being urged to contact police immediately on 101. An event has been held today at Manchester Cathedral, bringing together community activists, practitioners and other people interested in tackling gang violence around inner South Manchester. Gabriel Wynne investigates. Manchester Cathedral, a fitting location to host an event focusing on a subject which seems forever in the limelight. The talks were organised by Amnesty charity Charisma. Charisma in its simplest form is um, an advocacy group who was set up as a community response um, by the community to the gun and gang crime which was quite prevalent um, about 10-15 years ago. So I suppose we're an anti-gun group, you know, trying our best as a group of community people to do something to end the gun and gang violence. Well, I suppose uh, I find it interesting is because the uh, the, the issues that we're facing in the towns that I have responsibility for, which is, which is Greater Dandenong in, in Victoria, has uh, uh, very similar issues to uh, what uh, Charisma have been tackled in, in, uh, uh, in Mosside in, in Manchester. Um, we certainly don't have the issue with, with guns, but certainly uh, risk-taking behaviour. Whilst the police play a, a fundamental and, and unique role in our society, very often they are the first to respond when things happen, they are very often the agency of last resort when things are, are going wrong, um, but the police themselves also need to work in partnership with, uh, with, with other organisations, other public sector organisations, other community organisations, because very little um, uh, can be done by the police on their own if they've not got the support or if they've not got the active uh, participation of, of other groups. The event today has shown that gun crime in Manchester is going down. As Reen Mabel said, this is no time to be complacent though. This is Gabriel Wynne reporting from Keys News from Manchester Cathedral. This morning voting opened for the University of Salford Students' Union elections where students from all over the university have the chance to vote for sabbatical officers and student council members for the next academic year. There are four candidates running for president, nine for vice president and eight for a position on the student council. Students can now vote through the university's blackboard system and voting closes at 4pm on Thursday. All the results will be um, available from 7pm the same day, so don't miss your chance to vote. With seven days to go, Peter Kay has been travelling across Britain on a motorised sofa, all in the name of Comic Relief. The challenge, named Sit Down for Comic Relief, has seen him travel through Chorley, Bolton and his most recent local destination, Stockport. He seemed to be enjoying himself sitting on the appropriately themed red sofa dressed in a white tracksuit, red gilet and fur hat. And don't forget that in one week's time, Keys TV News will be doing a 12-hour news marathon in aid of Comic Relief, something no other university has done. There will be a breakfast special, a report on global immigration, a football panel show and much more. The event is set to uh, kick off at 7am and you can donate via our Twitter page, at Keys TV News. That's all from us today. Don't forget you can watch Keys News Live every Friday at 1.30pm. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.